polls at the moment suggest you will get more seats, but they also suggest that Boris Johnson is heading for a majority as well. And he couldn't be clearer yesterday that he would say no to a second independence referendum. So what's your plan B? Well, my plan A is the one I'm focusing on just now, which is to do whatever I can and to encourage Scotland to do what it can to stop Boris Johnson getting a majority and to make sure he's not calling the shots after this election. And, and Scotland has a big part to play here. Every single one of the 13 Conservative held seats in Scotland right now has the SNP as the main challenger. So my message to Scotland is let's vote in a way that deprives Boris Johnson of a majority and locks him out of office. And then it's not Boris Johnson that's calling the shots about Scotland's future. You must have a plan B, though, for that scenario. Well, again, you know, if I need it, we'll talk about that after the election. Surely it's not unreasonable to let voters know what you would do in that situation, given that is the way that we seem to be headed. Well, but you're saying that's the way we seem to be headed. You know, there's not, I was going to say, there's not a single vote cast yet. I think some people might have started to get postal votes. But, you know, we've got an election. Polls are polls. What matters is how people vote. And we have an opportunity in Scotland to help ensure that Boris Johnson doesn't get a majority. And given how damaging Boris Johnson uh, will be and how damaging certainly a majority Boris Johnson government would be, I think that's what we've got to focus on preventing.